After an eight year legal battle, a local restaurant owner is receiving $5 million as part of a settlement with Maricopa County. The restaurateur sued after his business and home were raided by former Sheriff Joe Arpaio's office. As investigator Liliana Soto reports, it's not the first time taxpayers have had to foot Arpaio's bills. It's a never ending legal fee story. We are way over $300 million we have spent in just uh, legal fees and court cases. Steve Gallardo uh, is a Democratic court. Maricopa uh, County supervisor. Exactly. The board approved the $5 million settlement for Uncle Sam's restaurant owner, Brett Fremo, just yesterday. The sheriff through our pile has not been the sheriff for a number of years, and we are still paying for his actions. This case has been going on since 2013, I believe. July 17, 2013, to be exact. A longtime Valley business here near 32nd Street in Shea, the focus of an immigration bust. Sheriff's officials say they're actually looking for 70 people. In all, they arrested 10. Two of those workers were represented by Delia Salvatierra, a Phoenix immigration lawyer. She says even though they were also arrested, they won't benefit from the settlement. Frimmel now has won everything. Every step of the way he has won. Salvatierra says her clients worked for Uncle Sam's restaurant for 10 years, getting paid only $10 an hour without any benefits. Even though Frimmel gets away with money, the overriding lesson here is that the tactics used by former Maricopa County Sheriff's Office under Joe Arpaio and his partner, Bill Montgomery, in the prosecution office do not work. After Fremo filed the lawsuit, the search warrants issued to raid the restaurant were found to be illegal. And because of that, workers were let go free, but not after spending months behind bars. The workers, you know, they've, they've suffered. The jail, um, how vulnerable they were and taken advantage of. And obviously Maricopa County, the taxpayers are no winners here today either. Mr. Fremo was not available for comment on the settlement, but we spoke on the phone with his lawyer. My clients are relieved to have this all behind them and that they feel, you know, they feel like they've been vindicated after this very long trying time. We did ask if Mr. Fremo will be using any of the money to help the workers, but we couldn't get a comment on that. As far as what happened to the workers, none of them got any money, but we know at least two of them got to stay and are waiting for their U.S. residency. In Phoenix, I'm Liliana Soto, ABC 15, Arizona.